Good morning. Uh, my name is Kent Clendera, and I'm with my colleague Ben Clapham from the GMT initiative at AMFAR. GMT stands for Gay Men, Other Men Who Have Sex With Men, and Transgendered Individuals. And it's the new name of our program, which was formerly called the MSM initiative. And we wanted to give you a bit of a background um, regarding our current uh, call for proposals, which is happening in Africa, just to give you some guidance on applying. Um, recognize that all the application forms, everything you need, is on the website. So if you've gotten to this video, you should look a little bit below and you'll find all the applications. Um, but we wanted to let you know that this year we were a bit more strategic in terms of what we want to be funding. And so we did a big scan, we talked to a lot of colleagues throughout Africa, and we were able to come up with two priorities that we would like to see um, people imp implementing this year in terms of funding from AMFAR. The first priority deals with projects around advocacy. So we're looking at projects that work to change government policy, work to change the way donors do things, but really focused on uh, changing uh, uh, policies and procedures, working with the community to see that advocacy is happening. And the second type of project that we're looking to fund is what we're calling structural interventions. And these are projects that really move beyond basic prevention or condoms and lubricant outreach, but really focus on systems that need to be changed or affected to help reduce HIV vulnerabilities amongst GMT, amongst gay men, other men who have sex with men, um, and transgendered individuals. So the systems might be a legal system, maybe getting rid of a sodomy law. system might be a healthcare system, um, working to make those... Uh, clinics more GMT friendly, um, all sorts of different systems or structures that we're working to change. And uh, all of those forms are available online, but they're also available in French and Portuguese. So please send them in English, uh, or you can send them in French or Portuguese, but with an English uh, translation using Google. Um, in addition to the priorities that Kent was talking about, um, it is also very important that you guys send us a monitoring and evaluation um, component to your project so that we can understand how you're going to be able to measure and look at the impact of the work that you guys are doing. So make sure you include an m &E component to your project. And do remember that the organizations that are eligible to apply, they need to be GMT-led or have GMT people closely involved in the implementation and the design of the project. Um, and do please let us know a little bit of the background of what's going on in your country, in your community, so that we have an idea of what else is going on with other GMT organizations, LGBT organizations. It's important to know how your work will complement what's already being done. Um, please remember, applications are due on October 18th at 5 p.m. New York time, um, and that is a very strict deadline, so please make sure you send that. If you want a little bit of feedback from us, we are open to uh, help you guys since uh, the review panel is going to be deciding who gets funded. Um, so please send that to us uh, f a week ahead of time so that we have time to get back to you. And once again, all the forms are available online and don't forget October 18th. Thanks Thank guys, good luck. Bye. -bye.